Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today to give you an update on my cross stitch conversion. So as if you've been watching my channel, I was going to be converting the Alice panel. So I'll give you a picture of it. This is a Mandy Manzano panel and it has been licensed for cross stitch to the store Creatively Stitching, which of course I'm gonna have them linked down below. Um, and so I did go ahead and order that pattern and, um, I bought it off the site and then I converted the measurements myself. Um, I found the first canvas that I ordered going off of directly the measurement of, um, what I had found was actually not big enough for my canvas. And so I ended up having to go back and reorder. I got a 37.5 centimeter by 115 centimeter canvas from Crown Jewel Canvases. And this one almost, almost was right. But if you can see, there's about three lines that are not <laughs> covered there. Um, so it still wasn't quite the right size. It was close, uh, close enough. And um, that's fine. You know, if you were to be working on this and you wanted to like frame it or something like that, I'm sure you could figure out, you could probably put some like black washi tape to extend the black line and frame it and it would be just fine. Probably cost a gazillion dollars to frame a panel, but <laughs> you know. So I tried to do it off of the paper that I just printed off of the pattern, right? I printed it off on some sheets of paper and you guys, it was a nightmare. I cannot, I cannot follow <laughs> paper cross stitch patterns to me. Converting it from the actual paper to this was just beyond me. Now I've never really cross stitched in any great capacity. I've done little things, but I've never done that. So I have not ever really trained my eyes to look at a pattern and to count. Um, I've never quite had to do any sorts of crafts like that. And for me, it was just like, oh, I don't. Anyway, I'm one of those people that's like, you know what, this is, this is hard. <laughs> I was about ready to quit. And then I got this tablet. Now this is just a really like, inexpensive tablet. I think it was about like $90. I purchased it off Amazon. It's not a name brand, but it's worked out great. I purchased it for the app Pattern Keeper. I downloaded my pattern into it and you guys, oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> it is. Um, it really is just so helpful. And um, I would definitely recommend that you get something like Pattern Keeper um, when working on your cross stitch conversion. So just to show you on my small tablet, um, I really only got this for Pattern Keeper. I have used it to watch Netflix a little bit, but you guys, um, it's been so worth it, at least for converting a cross stitch. So getting into this Pattern Keeper app, you can see that I have the Alice conversion and you can like stream this out and see it. You can pull it close up. And basically what you can do is pull it really close up here and you're gonna see the symbols. Now what I think is really neat about this is say that you want to be working on, um, let's see, let's find a symbol really quick. Um, that's, let's say 38.95. So you can place these drills down and then you just cover them like this. <laughs> and when you check mark them, then it puts the color of that stitch down and you know that that stitch has been placed. It also will count your stitches. I've done a total of 20.4% um, of this canvas. So basically though, um, having done that much percentage, if you look, the bow's a little different than what I've got going here. And I've actually done a little bit more because I've done hair, but because I didn't follow the the exact what you're supposed to do, um, I was gonna try and re-render this one. It, um, it, it, you know, it's not counting <laughs> all of that stuff. So, okay, what I have to say as far as this goes, I went into this project knowing that I wanted to kind of fix her up a little bit. Um, 
And you know, it's kind of like one of those things. Well, so the original painting though, she does, she does kind of have, you know, little marks here and there. Her face is green. She's got, it almost kind of looks like she's got dirt on her cheek right here. And you know, it was one of those things that I was like, oh, I don't know that I want to follow the exact um, rendering of this. Like I would kind of want to clean it up a little bit. Kind of like Diamond Heart Club has done with their princesses. If you look at the original paintings, they did kind of take the skin and um, like the faces especially, and they made them a little bit more uh, clear and concise. So it was suggested to me that I try and, you know, I kind of, I've, I've been working on the fairy while I've been doing this one and it, I thought, why don't I just look and try to use the same face rendering as on the fairy? So I'll tell you, you guys can't tell, but I had actually put drills down on this entire face. Now the thing was, is that I had used similar colors to the fairy <laughs> instead of using the colors of the kit, which was a mistake because it was the absolute wrong color for this. Even though the fairy is quite light skinned, this is going to be an even lighter, lighter skin, um, lighter than any of the princesses. And so um, I ended up ripping that all out and I was going to try to figure out something different. In the meantime, I had done the bow and the, the, this section of the hair and I actually had shown people on Instagram. I'll put a picture here. Here's the Instagram post that I put out. I just asked people which they liked, which they preferred. I did feel like the bow just kind of disappointed me and that's why I wanted to try and make it one color. <laughs> um, but I'm just not so sure now. So like I, like I was saying there that I just was not sure of what was going on. So I decided to try and just color block it and see what that would do. Now I have to be honest, that was a complete fail because um, I did yellow ABs here, way too bright for this painting. I did the blues, which I liked. Um, so I, I it's actually switched out. I pulled out all of this one and I was replacing it with this lighter AB. But you guys, you know what? Looking at it, it looks like pop art to me. <laughs> We've got a stained glass background with pop art. And oh, I just don't like it. So after having ripped all of the drills out of the face and then now ripping the hair the the hair out and replacing it and then having to go and take all of this out again, you guys, I set it down and I didn't even want to work on it. And um I feel like I should have gone with the rendering and fixed it up after it was placed. So what I mean by that is um, right here in the eye, you can see how there's a gazillion colors in there. This is the actual rendering. I could have gone through and maybe replaced those blues in there with skin tones to even it out a little bit better and, so, and the, the purples, um, but only doing that after. So in the time of working on this, I did work on another piece by Dye Moon Shop where I did fix the skin, but I found that I had more success fixing the skin after I placed the drills that were charted and going back by by hand and looking at it and, and, and fixing the drills. And so I know where I went wrong with this one. Now I love this panel. I absolutely wanna come back to it. I just need to come up with the, <laughs> the strength, <laughs> the fortitude to pull all those drills out and to start back over again. And also I'm hoping that the glue will stick, like the glue will still be good at this point because I am, you know, I'm not too far into it. I even considered just ordering another canvas and restarting this Alice panel again. Um, but I do have to say I was absolutely thrilled with the drills that I had gotten from the Jaded Gem Shop. If you can tell, they're very shiny and um, they are resin drills. And I just, I was, I was really enjoying them. If you watched my unboxing video of materials, you'll know that I had ordered the drills kitted up. And so they came kitted up in these containers. Um, and you know, Jade had put in a sticker on each one. So, um, I, <laughs> I'm unfortunately going to be shelving this, this project 
for the moment. And like I said, I'll come back to it. I'll probably have to reorder some of these drills. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to put her away and I'm going to start over. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a princess again. And that leads me to, voila, this package. So for the princess along, I've gone back to the Jada Gem Shop, and this time Jade has actually streamlined her process for princesses more. Um, she now has a set rate for the drills for a princess panel. She does have a set kit up rate, as well as she can offer a canvas that's perfectly matched to the princess panel size, so you don't have to worry about it, which is brilliant. So. Um, this is not a cheap project, like I've said before, converting a cross stitch. Jade is, um, is selling the drills for 105 and then the canvas was 35 and I did, um, choose to get this kitted up as well. And that was $70. So you guys, this, this wasn't cheap, but I'm really excited to see the materials and to get this out, you can see the princess that I will be working on during this month. And hopefully I'm not gonna get waylaid by this one. I think this one, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna place the drills like the pattern tells me to, and I'm not going to fix them until the drills have been placed. Um, this came rather quickly. What you have to do is you have to order from, um, you have to send Jade an email. She has it listed on her shop. And of course, I will have her shop listed below. Now, one neat thing that I actually took advantage of myself, um, that for the Princess Along, Jade or the Jaded Gem Shop has offered us a discount code of 10% off um, buying a drill, you know, buying drills in our canvas. Um, so you can use 10, the 10% 10 off coupon is going to be just Princess Along, P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S-A-L-O-N-G. Princess Along will get you 10% off the Jaded Gem Shop. So that is a neat deal. That did help. That brought my total to um, about $180 with the whole thing. And for me, that's kind of nice because basically um, I didn't have to go through different shops and ordering. I just got a package for you know, to do the drills for 108 or to do the, this canvas and conversion for $180 basically. Um, well, and then on top of that, you do have to buy the pattern from creatively stitching. Another good note about that is that Jade has now fulfilled a lot of orders on the princesses and she's actually contacted the owner of creatively stitching Amanda, and she knows the exact drill count that is needed for these. Um, and so you guys will know that she, she's getting you the amount of drills and she does give you actually extra when you do order from her. So let's go ahead. <gasps> look, this is the canvas and look, I love it has her jaded gem shop on here and her YouTube. So let's look, go ahead and look at this canvas. Um, so struggling here. I am I'm just going to do this taped nicely. So it does stay. And then it is around a foam roller. Um, so this is going to be a pretty good, good, um, textured canvas. You've got sparkle on the front, which is really nice. And then this does have a velvety or linty back. Is it lint, lint, lint? what is this kind of, <laughs> if you can see it. Um, I like that these are scalloped edges that are poked and these feel like very, very sturdy canvas um, edges. This does feel like a very sturdy canvas, um, but I just, oh my goodness, I'm just loving how this looks. It's obviously, it's poured glue and um, this is um, such a nice canvas. I like how she's got a line around here, like the green line. 
um, that makes it just look so much more professional. Right down here, it says this is a 36 by 108 centimeter. And so she has measured this. Now I'm gonna roll it back this way really quickly so that we can see if it lays flat quickly. But I think that this is going to just be perfect. And for $35, that's actually cheaper than what it cost me. I had to end up paying, I think somewhere around like $50 for the canvas that I got from Heaven and Earth Design. So this one is definitely um, a better deal for me at least, I can tell you. Um, and yeah, look, already this canvas is laying flat. I'm gonna check the stickiness here. Yes, it is sticky. This it is typical of what you would find from um, a poured blue canvas. So this is exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this canvas makes me happy. Um, I, I think Jade's logo is so cute. I'll have to show you. And of course, you know, like I'm a fan with the green lining on here because yeah, green. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get that tape off, but it's cute. I'm gonna have to do that off camera. Because if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm challenged on camera. I'm <laughs> really challenged. So inside the package, she's very nicely, you know, made sure that it is protected. And we have my containers. I again requested the one by one containers because I love them. <laughs> I've talked about it on my channel. I really, really like these one by one containers. Now, another really neat thing with Jade Shop is that if you use the code Princess Along, she has said that she will add additional AB drills to your drills when you order them. You don't have to get them kitted up, um, but she will add some additional ABs that go with your canvas. So she told me that there are some added ABs in here. Oops. We've got plastic on there. So with the kitting up service, um, I think this this here is just keeping them all nice and, um, it, you know, so that they don't break or obviously, you know, when you're, you're shipping filled containers with drills, you wanna be careful. <laughs> this one has, uh-oh, we've got a little bit of a spill, but that's okay. Um, I think it's just the yellow. I think it's just this is the 973 um but for the most part i think we're good just a few drills right here um if you want to see we've got our drills right here and she has put the symbol on already with the number um you know the D, dmc number and then it lets you know how many drills I guess that, that you need, which is really cool. I think that's really neat that she's included that so that you kind of have a good idea of how many drills are needed. Um, let's look right in this one. This is the fun one. So she added some ABs, some complimentary ABs with the kit. We've got 5200, 996, and 444. And you guys, that will be perfect for Cinderella, which I, I didn't even show you guys that. But yes, I'm going to be working on the Cinderella panel. So I've purchased it from Creatively Stitching, um, and I will have it, I will be getting it downloaded into my, oh, there wasn't anything on this it was just the foam packing the yellow <laughs> the yellow had some paint on it but it's not actually um the the um it wasn't the containers so um i'm just going to like really quickly get these yellows okay so you guys <laughs> Um, let me know if this, I know that's not, this is not necessarily the cheapest way, but this is the way that I have done it to be, you know, like I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. A lot of times I get a lot of emails and I'm, I'm answering things constantly anyway. So just ha having to contact a separate company to get drills and to get canvas and all of that sort of stuff seemed a little overwhelming to me. And so that was a price that I felt was acceptable. Now, like I said, you could even get this a little bit cheaper if you didn't do the kit up service, which um, 
like I said, would take it down another $70. But there is that coupon code right now for Princess Along um, that will get you 10% off her store. And so you guys, are you excited to see? I'm excited to see where I get on this one because look at the colors in this. Look at how vibrant they are. I'm loving that. I'm loving the blues and the yellows. I think this will be really fun. And I will definitely stay within the pattern this time. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have tried this, what is your method? I know more and more people have done this. Um, so this is my like round two trial of the cross stitch conversion. I hope that me just chatting with you guys about it has been helpful, but I will see you guys in an update video soon. Bye.